Welcome back to the GSL, guys. I'm Tasis. With me is Artosis. You didn't I, know my name? No, I was actually just going to build up. I was like, with me is oh, okay. Wait Artosis. for it. Wait for it. What we need is actually, we need the voices uh, that are in the game to introduce us. I'll be like, my name is, and I'll be like, Tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we're going to get a shot of uh, our sponsors down here. Sony Erickson. Sony You're Erickson. awesome. Guys, it's so good to be here with you. Not just because we love StarCraft, but because my StarCraft man crush, Clyde. That's right. I personally feel like he is the best player still. Uh, yeah. I, I really... Th I don't, I don't unless know which, something which, has changed drastically since the last TSL, uh, GSL season, yeah. I would say Clyde is the best Terran in the world without any yeah, question I, in I my I really mind. think he's the best. Uh, I actually got to sit here and really watch what he was doing on my screen. So. Yeah. Some people may not quite understand what I'm saying, but anyways, let's talk about Tank Boy. He's actually quite good himself. Private first class. It's a high rank, I guess. Must be. Yeah, he made it's it. not public first class. No, that's true. Uh, <laughs> well, Tank Boy, he showed us some really great skills in some of the games. He started out terrible and then just made his way well, much better I think, by I think game it was the three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by game three, his nerves were gone. And he was actually micring and doing multi pronged harassment with Marauder Drops and Vikings and just kiting Colossus from angles that I didn't know exist. He was like in the fifth dimension shooting into the fourth, shooting into the third. He was third. like going back in time and then into the future. Yeah, he was, like, he was good, man. Like, some really good play. Really impressive Fun player, player to watch, actually. Um, but he is against Clyde from the TSL. Yeah. Clyde, I, look, I mostly play Terran guys, and... I love watching Clyde. Actually, Clyde, I don't like to watch Terrans as much as Zergs, of course, but Clyde is actually might be my favorite player to watch overall. He's just so smart. Uh, his play is actually amazing, and we're going to show that to you. This Clyde. guy is so good. He's a corporal. He's a corporal. Okay. How about that? Awesome. He made it to the round of 16 last time. I Got wonder if like, the fruit Hanna. dealer gets to be like commander-in-chief or whatever. <laughs> the uh, An interesting thing about uh, Clyde, he has said, you know, they oftentimes ask, like, who is your rival? Who's your rival? Yeah, we have that on our sheets. Yeah. And uh, he actually said himself. Because yeah. really, the only person keeping Clyde from winning this is Clyde himself. If you remember the set against uh, Hong Un Prime from last season, the guy who eliminated him, uh, really, it was like some really cheesy all in stuff that Clyde barely did not stop. He yeah. did make some mistakes against it, but. When this guy is just left to his own devices, he seems invincible when you watch him. You're just like, wow, so this is how Terran's supposed to be played. He's so, so good. Yeah. He's such a beast. And a lot of people are like, oh, you guys are showing favoritism or something. They're like, no, oh. we're actually just being no, I'm actually accurate. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to let you guys know that you are about to watch who is probably the best Terran in the world. Might be the best player in the world. I'm not sure. It's hard to say Try right to now. Try to say. Fruit but, Dealer also says he's very, very good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he trains with the fruit dealer. This guy knows what he's doing. He's a StarCraft 1 pro. He is. And he was also a coach, I believe, at one point yes. for a little bit. And uh, All he's got to do is become a caster. He's got everything covered. You know, That's it, man. Yeah. Uh, Clyde, I'm excited to watch this match. Seriously. I can't, I'm, really, I'm really, really he excited. He is, as I said, uh, pre-day one and even during season two, he's yeah. my choice to win this entire tournament. Uh, yeah. I heard that there was actually this really big, by the way, bracket set up where everyone try to predict the winners and there's going to be prizes. Yeah. And after ha Hongun Prime lost, it took out every single person. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Let's take a look at the map lineup now for these two Titans. Scrap Station uh, is going to be our first map. The map's eliminated uh, by Tank Boy Prime, Jungle Basin, and Blistering Sands by TSL Clyde. It's going to be Steps of War and Shakuras Plateau. For the second map, we're going to have uh, Lost Temple. <clears throat> and finally, for the third map, we're going to have Zelnaga Caverns. Yep. Uh, it's TVT, so we can't talk, talk about map balance all too much. They just kind of take out the maps that they don't feel as comfortable on. Well, so when fine. you're doing like a mirror match, like Terran versus Terran, which is... It started out with the beta a little bit more uh, position-based, but actually, um, you know, now Marauders have become stronger, yeah. so it's kind of become... Um, uh, guerrilla warfare uh, on the ground. A lot of the time, yeah. With, with medevacs playing a huge role and trying to balance uh, Vikings versus uh, Ravens and, mm. and, and medevacs. Yeah. There's actually a lot of builds in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, for a while it was stagnating, but right now it's one of the most diverse matchups, which is weird for Mira, but we're starting. It is the time. The has begun. Prepare yourself. Tank Boy versus Clyde.
in the red over here. He's no boy, he should be called Tank Man, but they say he is. Tank Boy Prime. Tank Boy Prime. Controlling the upper left side of the map is going to be the Tasis Artosha Starcraft Man Crush. This map is actually really fun for Terran versus Terran. You're so close by air. Uh, as you guys can see here, if I could just. I'd, yeah. I'm sure my mouse pad's not long enough, but uh, as you guys can see here, the distance is actually <clears throat> very close by air. The island over here can play a pivotal role yeah. if you do choose to go for things like Vikings and Banshees. And of course, we have the expansion over here, which is the most commonly used location. The rocks over here, very pivotal as well, um, since that can cause counterattacks. Yeah. You move out too far, put your tanks in this position here. Uh, they can bust through with Marauders and go up your ramp and kill you. Definitely. Now this map is going to be really good for early aggression via Banshee and sometimes drop ships. Yes. We have seen a lot of Terrans actually make uh, marine drops on this map. Not as many Hellion drops. Uh, and I think that makes sense because if you're actually going for the Hellion drop build and someone makes a Viking, you are <laughs> in trouble to say the least. So, uh, a, a map where flying units are so common, Vikings are going to be even more common. Now, I was backstage while you were doing the interview, yeah. um, talking to the coach yeah. of TSL, who's a very nice guy, by the way, very friendly. He's super nice, actually. Uh, really friendly guy. He just said um, that Clyde has been training so much, yeah, nonstop for this. He didn't. It wasn't like he took a break the day after he lost. Clyde was like, no. I'm going to keep training. I'm yeah, going to no, win this. I think Clyde actually knows how good he is because being on TSL, he gets to practice with you know the best players. He was a coach for a little bit in StarCraft 1, I heard, as well as a pro gamer. So he actually knows so much about this game. That's why he's so beautiful to watch play. It's like, oh, wow, you truly understand what's going on. So he realizes, like, hey, I can actually win this. You know, the Fruit Dealer, he actually had 90% wins on in practice. So Fruit Dealer won the tournament. Tells you something. You mean, you mean Clyde had 90% wins on him yes. in practice, yes. And 90% wins on the Fruit Dealer. In practice games. In practice games. Of course, practice games aren't what win you tournaments. You don't win money in practice games. That's right. Unless you do some crazy practice. Here comes Tank Boy's Marine. He's moving out. But look, Clyde's Marine is here. I bet Clyde, Clyde's Marine is like taller and like more handsome and has better <laughs> accuracy and stuff because he's so good. Both these guys getting their second gases. The builds are mirrored very closely at this point. Yeah. Uh, TBT, you actually uh, really got to control this Zelnaga Watchtower. Yeah. Because it it, it's, it makes your opponent a little bit more uncomfortable, the possibility of a rush. Mm -hmm. And the only difference we've really seen so far is an additional Marine from Tank Boy. He's making a few more Marines here. And now we're going to have to see where these guys go. Double yeah. factory. Yeah. Reactor. Meanwhile, Tech Lab, Ooh, tech completely lab. different tech patterns here. Tank Boy Prime, though, uh, has really proven himself that he is solid um, under pressure. I mean, what a metamorphosis we've seen this guy go from. Yeah, Tank Boy, uh, he just, in the beginning of his round of 64, first game he looked terrible, second game he looked bad, third game he looked like one of the best Terrans we had seen. I know by the, the fourth game he's going to look like the guy from Yeah, no, in the... <laughs> In the second round, he played quite well, but ended up losing. Um, Scan here. Yeah. He needs to know what Clyde's doing. Clyde. Yeah, this is really interesting, actually, that we're seeing double factory play. Yeah, I'm curious about this. Tech Lab, I feel like I'm going to be watching a StarCraft 1 build in a PVT. Yeah, yeah, it's like two tank factories Vulture, and a starport. Uh, it's like, what is he going? Goliath drops, LOL. Um, we did see some Hellion drops um, early on in this map, but I think that's become a little bit too predictable. Yeah. Clyde going to make sure that he can control this. Actually, no, he's going to just continue to scout, excuse me. Oh, he's actually getting blue flame for Hellions at this point. Is he really? I'm definitely expecting seeing an armory very soon. He's going to go up here, harass the bunker. Ooh, hitting the Marines a little bit. Of course, Hellions own Marines pretty hard. Nice micro there by Clyde. Yeah, Clyde's micro pretty good, but Hellions comes strong. out. Clyde's got to run. Meanwhile, Tank Boy Prime shaking his fist. Clyde! <laughs> I'll get you, Clyde. Medivac is being created. Oh. He's definitely going to do one of these blue uh, alien drops that we he were is. saying are a little bit risky here sometimes. You don't see him quite as much as some of the other drops. 
But again, it is such a good map for drops early game. Hellion is picked off. More Hellions coming out here. And he's actually co committed entirely to Hellions. This is so this interesting. This is really I, interesting. I can't wait to see what Clyde has actually figured out about this. Dude. By the way, I want to point out the Marines on the side of the base. That is to stop any harassment. And I hear a Banshee. This is actually really good by Tank Boy. Tank Doing Boy. Some good damage to the economy of Clyde. He's going to have to kite him. Four kills. Make it five. Meanwhile, the drop over here. And there's not much to defend here. There's a Marauder. However, the Banshee's not being microed. You got to watch this drop, though. Does he have blue flame yet? Yeah, yeah there it is. Yeah, he's got it. Not doing as much damage as I think he wanted to, but still getting some kills. Picks it up, moves out. Meanwhile, the Banshee, wow. Clyde's got to deal with his Banshee. So many kills on this man. Clyde is in a lot of trouble right now. Clyde's really hurting. Clyde's about to make Tasels and Artosis look really bad for saying he's the best player. <laughs> <laughs> and a second Banshee in, he has Cloak. Clyde is in some serious trouble, man. I do not know if he's going to be able to come back from this. Clyde, really hurting right now. He's about to go into a trap. And, oh my god. I mean, 23 kills. Oh, Clyde. Clyde's actually not even a t Oh man. Oh no, Clyde. Oh, he's chasing out. 28 oh. kills. Itchy. Let's show you how ridiculously far behind Clyde is. Oh, um, that is Sorry. seven SCVs against 19 SCVs. Yeah, Clyde is going to lose this game pretty badly. All right. It's okay, Clyde. Artosis and Tasis still think you're really good. Yeah, here's another Cloak Banshee. And again, Banshee play on this map. I love it. It's just, it's so close. Cloak Banshee's so good. He's already used the, the scan. Oh, he walks oh, back he before walks the back scan in. is done. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah, okay, Clyde, you can GG. Okay, Clyde. Nice try, um, buddy. Tank Boy is really good. Yeah, man. Tank Boy, Tank he's Boy. improved a lot. And uh, his first game, instead of, you know, working up to being awesome, starts out awesome. I know. Yeah. Definitely, I don't know if uh, you can upgrade from being the guy from 300. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about Clyde right now. I'm that worried. Was, that was a build order I'm worried. win in a lot of ways. He was not ready for the Banshee at I'm all. I'm worried. You worried? I'm worried for Clyde. Well, don't be worried, Tasteless. I'm worried. Because he's Clyde. He's, he's obviously going to win the next game. Clyde can do this. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Tank Boy's build was way better. Uh, yeah. To be totally blunt. Yeah, yeah. Hellion drops are, like, old. That's, like, bell-bottom jeans or whatever. Like, not in right now. They, yeah, you see you it know? a lot more on the U.S. server, I think, yeah. than the Korean. But um, I don't know, man. Uh, Clyde, I think, is under a lot of pressure right now. Yeah. He just lost the first game in the round 64. He feels like he is a player that can win this. He practices with the best. Does yes. so well in practice. And sometimes people get into ruts because of that. You know, maybe yeah. he's going to feel too much pressure and collapse. I don't know. I don't think so, though. We'll have to see. We're, uh, we're going live.